What's going on everyone? My name's AJ and today we're going to be reviewing the Saint Laurent Paris Low Top Baby Cat Venice Low Sneakers. These shoes released originally in 2015 during the Eddie era, but re-released during 2019 and were made popular by Kanye West and a lot of other celebrities. I'll put some pictures all around the screen. So this video is going to go through some of my general thoughts, some pros, some cons, and should you buy it. These shoes come in a standard black Saint Laurent box and inside the box it just has general black tissue paper. And these retailed at $475. I got them in a size 43. And the colorway on the box says Olana Stampa Baby Cat Moon Plus Latte Plus Narrow Black OPT. I don't know what any of that means. Some of the other goodies that come in the box is this Saint Laurent envelope that has an authenticity card in it. That makes sure that what you buy is authentic. And it also has this really, really long pamphlet of care information and information about how Saint Laurent makes their shoes, the craftsmanship and the quality. These shoes retailed for $475, but there's a lot of sales going on now and I actually got them for 40% off at $275. I've actually seen a pair online on Essence right now for $270. So just a little bit more off for the red pair. So as far as sizing goes, I would definitely say that these fit true to size. And as far as occasion goes, these are on the more casual side. So I suggest wearing them with slimmer or skinnier jeans. These are a pair of black jeans. I personally don't have a preference on the color of the jean, as long as it's a slimmer or skinnier fit, as that's the way the SLP look is meant to be. It's more so like really skinny. That's kind of the signature Saint Laurent look, more of a skinnier look and slimmed down look. And you could even wear these with shorts, but I would just suggest wearing them with jeans. They're super easy to wear, almost like the Vans eras that I reviewed a while ago. So as far as the pros go, I would say the first pro is that these have excellent craftsmanship, details, and materials. I know that you're paying almost 110% plus over like what a van shoe is. You're definitely gonna have no regrets buying this shoe if you are a high fashion enthusiast or a SLP Eddie era enthusiast, as these are really timeless in regards to like when he was designing and they've been making a lot of, you know, retros of what Eddie has been designing during his tenure at Saint Laurent. These shoes being made in Italy is a really, really big selling point as you are buying a luxury good and it's not like these are the same quality as like a standard Keds shoe or even like a Vans shoe. They do feel a lot more luxurious, even the insoles and just the rubber and the canvas, but I could definitely tell that not a lot of people are gonna wanna pay almost $500 for a pair of shoes that look exactly like some Vans or some generic canvas shoes. Another pro that I had is that these are really comfortable. I've had some Saint Laurent shoes in the past that aren't really that comfortable, and I usually have to take the insoles out. But for these, they're almost the same thickness, if not more thick, than the Vans Comfy Cush insoles. But like I said, is it worth paying the premium for this insole? My third pro is that these are very unique, and I know that a lot of people would just say, oh, those just look like some regular Vans with a print on it, but this is one of those things where you have to be in the know to really appreciate it. It's almost like car guys. Car guys appreciate their certain type of model and car and specific brand, etc. These are the same thing. If you know someone that is really into the Saint Laurent brand or YSL, they'll really know what this is. The era that it came from, and it's just a timeless silhouette, but a print that is known to be Saint Laurent and only Saint Laurent. Granted, it doesn't have Saint Laurent all over the shoe or anything. So it's really one of those shoes where if you know, you know. And it's still super unique. People are still gonna think that it's a van, but it's a very unique van at least to some people. But to those people that really matter, as long as it matters to you and you like what you're wearing, that's all that matters. I said matter like 10 times during that sentence. Yeah, that doesn't matter, 11. You shouldn't care about what people will say. Just wear what you like and if you really like this shoe a lot and you have the money to buy it, cop it. Another pro of these shoes is that they really retain their value on the resale market. One of my friends was saying he was trying to buy a pair that was used and it was still above $250. So with that being said, you could have a brand new pair of these and keep them on ice forever and someone will still want to buy them. And if you do wear them, just keep them in good condition. And my fourth and final pro is that these are super duper easy to wear. You literally do not have to think at all. You just put these shoes on, whether you have shorts on, jeans, sweatpants, they're gonna look good. They're a statement piece and they're high quality, comfortable. Can't really beat it. 
You don't have to think at all. Just throw them on, you're good to go. And my single con is that these are really, really, really expensive. I had to say really that many times because that's how expensive they are. And I wouldn't justify anyone that's looking in for the market for just a slow top shoe to buy these. I would only suggest buying these shoes if you like the Saint Laurent brand and have the means to actually afford it. There's a lot of these pairs on sale, but even at $285 pre-tax and shipping, you're gonna be spending about $300 on a pair of shoes that look similar to Vans and you know, I just don't know if 99% of the people are gonna be wanting to invest that type of money in just a pair of shoes that, you know, it's just a pair of shoes really. Uh, it's not like any hyped shoe like a Jordan or you know other shoe, but it doesn't even say Saint Laurent on it. So that's a big selling point for a lot of people. Like whenever you ask someone if they buy a designer good like Louis Vuitton or Gucci, or, they always wanna see the print. Cause like, what's the point of buying a luxury good without letting people know that it's a luxury good and the brand name. And I get that mindset, but this is more for an enthusiast who really cares about the brand, some of the story behind the designs. There's definitely other alternatives. I have a video that talks about why the Vans Comfy Cush era is one of the best sneakers for under $100. And I definitely suggest buying the Vans Comfy Cush era if you are on a budget. Granted, they're not gonna be as unique as these are, but if you're an enthusiast of the Saint Laurent Baby Cat sneaker, these are an easy cop, just get them. Overall, my thoughts is that the Saint Laurent Baby Cat Venice Low is an ultra luxury version of the Vans Authentic. I personally wanted this shoe ever since I was a struggling college student in 2015, and I got it in slip-on form, but I always wanted the lace-up form, and I'm super glad that I got it. I have no regrets with this purchase, and I definitely recommend it for those who enjoy Saint Laurent and this design as a whole. Is it worth the super duper high price tag? That's really up to you, depending on what you value and do you care about this shoe and the brand enough to spend that much money on it. But I personally really like it and I would suggest it to anyone that does as well. What do you guys think about this shoe? Leave a comment below. Once again, my name's AJ. If you guys learned something or enjoyed this video, feel free to consider hitting the like button, subscribing, or even hitting the notification bell. It really helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Saint Laurent Dom, baby. You got the Saint Laurent hoodie.